Hello again, it's Elliot from Gigs Online, and today we're going to talk about eight easy side hustles you can do from your computer. We're going to go through this and really review it and see if these things are really accessible. Uh, I looked at this list before. Some of these uh, platforms I have, uh, or solutions, I, I really have intimate experience with. I've ran some of these businesses, uh, so uh, we'll just go through and talk about how accessible each of them are. So first on the list is really e-commerce sales. For years, I actually personally ran an eBay and Amazon store. Um, those are actually not too hard to, to get into. Um, I think one thing that I started uh, was really the idea of taking things in my own home that I don't use and put them online. <laughs> And sure enough, those sold. And I learned it over time and I, I ran that business for years. Um, this is very accessible. I, I think anybody can do it. And, and the cost of, of starting is very, uh, um, it, it's not a lot to get started. I mean, you got to learn along the way, but truly you probably have items in your house that you can easily put up on one of these platforms and, and sell. Um, I don't have as much experience with Etsy and, and Shopify, but um, I do know of some people that have had very successful Shopify businesses. I do know of a lot of people that create um, kind of their own goods, like handcrafted goods, and they do have an Etsy shop. So again, e-commerce sales, yes, this is something that is very accessible. And I do have a lot of experience. So if you have any questions about that, please drop it you know, in the comment section and I will uh, answer all of the questions like we do here <laughs> on our channel. So graphic design. Yes, you can. Uh, a lot of people try to get started on Fiverr. Um, that's one location where you can kind of, you know, say like, hey, I do graphic designs. Um, I think the great thing about graphic designs is that you can look at your network of people because uh, people are always trying to still get business cards. People sometimes are trying to do refreshes of their website. They'll, there's always so some type of work that needs to be done from a graphical perspective. Uh, so I would say that um, another thing that comes to mind are events. People need their kind of posters or, or graphics created for that. Um, so there is a way for you to start a graphics design business as, as kind of a, a side hustle and then eventually evolve it into a full-blown business if you want. But it's very easy to start the side hustle. I think it's really about connecting with your existing network to kind of find your first, you know, paying gig. Website development, yes. Uh, there are tons of people that have an idea and they want an app built. That's, you know, just kind of the nature of the world. Um, you can either be building uh, mobile apps or even websites. Um, so uh, yeah, this is very lucrative. Uh, there's pro there's platforms like, uh, um, shoot, it's not coming to mind now, uh, but, um, Upwork. Yeah. So you can basically, uh, say, Hey, you're a software developer, post some of your work that you've done, maybe attach your portfolio. And then you just kind of throw up proposals for people. So there are, there's work there. I think for website development, I think you probably can look at maybe some companies in your area that, you know, maybe looking for part-time developers or outright some type of fixed price project work. Um, I've done this <laughs> a lot myself. I actually ran a company where we, uh, that was kind of like our bread and butter, where we would find software developers and put them on uh, uh, work on a, uh, kind of a staff augmentation basis to kind of add to their team. But these were larger projects where we're working across multiple properties and, you know, with thousands of users. When this this type of web development they're talking about is, you know, small, maybe brick and mortar store in your area that really needs a web presence. They may have hundreds of people that come into their store every month. That's where, uh, a, a, like the company I used to work for before, we wouldn't touch that because they don't spend a certain amount of money. It's not that we couldn't help them. It just wasn't really um, from a, like, I would say a cost perspective. It was very prohibitive for us to try to work with people that weren't spending a certain amount of, of money. So uh, SEO consultant. Yes, this is something that uh, you can definitely uh, like make, use a side, side hustle. And the reason why is because uh, organic search results in these really big search engines. You kind of think about, you know, Google, 
you're probably not thinking about Bing, you know, that, that, but Bing is a pretty big search engine as well. It's not as big as Google, but you can get a lot of organic traffic and somebody that is an SEO consultant can help you rank higher. And when you rank higher, uh, in the search results, you're going to get more clicks and those clicks can sometimes convert into leads or even purchases. So having someone, uh, really kind of focus on your kind of organic search, which is SEO, um, that actually can um, really, really like help you get uh, like your revenue goals or, or really help you sell through more effectively. So yes, this is something you can do as a side hustle. You can even do this as a, as a full-time job. There are companies that are hiring um, full-time SEO consultants or experts or whatever the title may be. Uh, day trading. Yes, you can, you can make money off of day trading. Uh, I will say that, uh, yeah, it's a good side hustle. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, you can kind of take the philosophy of kind of, you know, like the Warren Buffett philosophy of kind of understanding, like, you know, really value and, and really kind of riding like the ship of this company for a while and really do this kind of value, value and uh, investing and, and really kind of follow that, that model by v Benjamin Graham, or you can kind of just arbitrage and you can arbitrage within the day. And that's really what day trading is about. Uh, I would say there's probably more arbitrage in the crypto markets right now due to the volatility. Uh, and when I say uh, volatility, um, you know, you could actually look at two exchanges that that carry um, two pairs of, of, of assets and they have this huge uh, kind of spread between them, like the price points are, are huge and you can literally buy some on one exchange transfer it to another exchange and sell people are doing this all the time it is very very volatile um but there is that possibility so you can do it with stocks uh, you can also do it with with uh, crypto tokens as well but again we aren't you know uh this isn't any financial advice this is more education just to let people know what is possible ebook author yes you can write an ebook. Uh, I think a lot of people have at least one book in them. <laughs> and I think you can just talk about the things that you're, you have already experienced, you're good at. Um, you can work in fiction. I, I do know, like, I have friends that just love reading kind of indie fiction or, or, or fiction from um, people that aren't really well-known publishers. They like to know the publisher before uh, or, or the author before the author kind of gets big. Like, oh, I knew that person five years ago. You, I, I read this, this, and this. So there is a market out there. Um, I think this one may be a little bit saturated um, because I see a lot of videos on YouTube about, you know, being like, write an ebook, write an ebook. So it is possible. Um, but I, I do think it's just one of those things where, you know, if you write, 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 edit, you could have a book um, and you could have a small book or a very large book, uh, but it is a process. And that's something that I think everybody or a lot of people have in them to do. YouTube. Uh, yes, I think this is very, very possible as a side hustle. Uh, YouTube has changed uh, kind of their uh, partner program where um, you only need, I think, like a thousand followers and then like 2000 hours of, of public viewed um, videos in your channel. Uh, to be able to monetize it. And uh, I think uh, the reality is people are consuming media through video a lot more on their mobile devices and through video. That, that's what people are looking at of how they're getting informed, how they're being entertain entertained. Um, yes, this is, this is very accessible. This is probably the one that probably has the biggest upside because you have the ability to really go viral where you put out a YouTube video and then it just catches on. People love it and, and you kind of built this community around it. And, and Google is building really great tools around this. But I think this one is very accessible. And the reality is you can now create channels that are kind of like faceless channels like this one. You don't see my face. <laughs> and I, I think it's very possible. Um, people are also uh, just aggregating kind of other content that are, you know, kind of similar and just having you come to one place in one channel and, and people are, are happy with that because they have this kind of one-stop shop. So this is very powerful and Google has massive volume when it comes to, uh, or I should say YouTube has massive volume for how many people are actually searching for videos and people are using 
uh, YouTube to learn. People are using um, YouTube to be entertained. Um, I actually watch more YouTube than I do kind of my streaming services that I have, like the Netflix and Hulus of the world. So uh, this is one platform that it may be worth your time investing in, and it is very easy to get started. Affiliate marketing. Yes, affiliate marketing is probably one of these things where you can maybe pair with another one of these side hustles, like creating YouTube reviews or reviews on your YouTube channel to promote affiliate products. So you may not be in YouTube's partner program, but you actually are in your videos saying, hey, I, I actually have this you know, nice product that I use and I'm going to give a very thorough review. People search for it and they find your review on YouTube and then they click through and say like, oh, I want to buy this. And it takes you to some affiliate deal that uh, you would uh, make some commission when they when they actually make a purchase. I think this is very possible. I think affiliate marketing is probably one of the best ways to kind of um, start if you're trying to get an, a side hustle because it doesn't really take a lot of effort, uh, effort and you can really make some assumptions and test your assumptions very, very quickly with affiliate marketing. There's multiple ways to get traffic. You can try to go the SEO route and kind of earn the traffic or you can try to pay for the traffic through SEM where you're just kind of saying like, hey, when people search for this on YouTube or Google, I'll pay this amount of money. And you know that if you're willing to pay for so many clicks and you know that somebody will uh, you know, buy it and you make X amount of money, you can do the math to figure out you know, how much do you actually pay for advertising before you lose your shirt on people actually buying the product. So that's kind of what I would say about you know, affiliate marketing. I would say this is a great list. All of these things are really, really accessible. And again, you know, if you're just trying to, you know, get some extra cash, yes, these are things that you can do. And it's not a lot of effort. You don't have to put years of time in it. You can actually put perhaps a couple of days, if not weeks, and start to see results. So overall, really like this list. If you have a favorite, you know, call it out in the in, in the comment section. I would say also, you know, if you have experience with any of these, please uh, let us know. We would love to talk to you about it and perhaps even interview you about your experience. Um, it's always great to learn from other people. I will also say that if you found any of this information useful, please like the video. You don't have to subscribe to my channel. You don't have to turn on notifications. I only ask that you like the video. The reason why is that um, we produce a lot of information um, for educational purposes. And the more you like it, the more it gets you know, spread out on you know, YouTube's network so that other people can find it. So again, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciated you if you made it this far and talk to you next time. Bye.